Hey guys, it's Sarah Gallagher here. Uh, I just wanted to stop in and talk to you guys briefly because I know that this is an online world and you might be inundated by all these different people and coaches and people who promise to help you, but all they're doing is inundating you. They're on your Facebook page, they're in your personal profile, they are DMing you, they are texting you. You sign up for one freebie for to give you your email address and what happens is that you're getting all the stuff you never asked for and you didn't really care about, but yet the people keep pursuing you. So I know a lot of these are actually marketing techniques and some of them work and some of them don't. And one of the things that I am very much against is assuming that you need my services. Okay. I am not that big of a deal. It's, it, I am not the only grief coach out there. I am not the only service provider out there. There are thousands of us out there. It's a growing, growing business, this coaching world. However, I do know that having connections with you is very important and I've been trying different ways to connect with you. One of the ways I'm doing this is by doing videos like this one where I've been doing this more often on the creep itself. Some of the, I also do a weekly live, live training on our Facebook group. So if you want to come to that, it's every Thursday about 9.15 p.m. I also put out emails, so you get emails from me. You might see content in the actual, um, for posts that are from me. This is all my way of connecting to you and showing up and making sure that you know that I'm here for you. But lately I have been trying to get DM you only for those who've said yes, who've raised their hand the small way that I've actually started to have a conversation with. And I think this is very important because you guys need to know that there's somebody there who has your back, who's in your corner. But the reason why I was here today is because, you know what I hate? You know what I hate? The fact that there's this automatic distrust when people DM or an automatic distrust when people are reaching out to you, especially on the online space, because most people, when they try to, when they're, when they're DMing you, they're cold DMing you. They're assuming that what they have, everybody wants it. What they have is what you exactly they want. and. You don't even know who you are. It doesn't matter because whoever you are, you're gonna love my thing. Come and get me. And this is what bothers me about this because it destroys the credibility of those who actually do want to help like me. And I really sincerely do want to help. I put myself out there all the time to make sure that you know I'm here to help because you are the most important thing. And I'm not going to be one of those sleazy people who try to conv convince you that you need me if you don't, okay? If you and I click, that's fantastic. If you and I don't click, that's fine. There are other people out there that you can have help with. I know other widow coaches that I can refer you to if you and I don't click. However, I wanna show with you something that doesn't work, okay? And what I hate, and because I have this all the time. Now, ever since I put my profession as a coach in my profile, in my Facebook profile, I get inundated every day with people friending me because they help coaches. They have people DMing me because they help coaches. I've had so many people say that they can help me and every single time I talk to them, they have the same philosophy, they have the same routine, they have the same, this is what you need from me, but it's the same thing, the same thing. And you know what, I don't care about their program. What I care about is the connection that I get from the person I'm gonna work with. That's the most important thing for me. So for, for me to be contacted and not and when I wasn't expecting it isn't particularly fair. So let me give you an example of what, what I'm talking about. So today I was inundated, actually it started about a week ago. A week ago someone got in touch with me because they wanted to book a call with me with their coaching person. Once again, a, a, a coach that helps coaching helps coaches and I'm open to this. I'm open for different suggestions. Again, I'm not like, I don't know always what I'm doing. We're all kind of winging it. I have a pretty good idea. I've been working for the past four years on it and it seems to be working for me and my widow friends, but, or my widow clients and friends. But this is what gets me, okay? Let me show you just for a second. I'm not sure if I can do this. Can I do this? I hope so. So this is the picture. Oh, what happened? This is the picture I'm gonna put up here in the video, in the video of what this person, she DM'd me. And she DM'd me last week for me to have a, a client call with her for just a discovery call, which is what I call a coffee chat or a discovery call, which is fine. I'm up for that. 
And for whatever reason, I got busy. I had to cancel. I postponed. I decided over that period of time, that maybe I'm not so sure if I want this person in my life. I want to be connected with them. But I was still interested. There was a still possibility. And then this happened. Over the weekend, this person decided to try to contact me because I wasn't responding to their DMs quick enough for their liking. They decided to comment on a personal post of mine about trying for me to get in touch with them, which I felt completely um, unfair and I violated my own privacy. Like, this, why? Why would you do that? That has nothing to do with you. Why are you asking me to contact you on a personal post of mine, which I don't think was appropriate? So that kind of got me off kilter. Okay. And then today what happened is that they text me again and I didn't respond because I was busy with the client and I didn't respond because I was trying to create things for you, content for you and thinking of different ideas that I can do for you. And they didn't, because I didn't get an answer. You know what they did? They tried to video call me. They decided that it was their right to invade my privacy and video call me through Facebook so they can talk about the fact that I didn't show up for a coaching call, which I didn't decide at this point, I wasn't sure if I wanted this, and now that just clink, that's, that's nailed it right there. You do not, you do not try to harass me by <laughs> going into my personal space, and now into my, not just my DM, but trying to get me to a video call at this moment because you need me to be there for you? No, and I'm not doing that for you. I'm not doing this, this is, this is disgusting, and I would not have that. This is something I will never do with you, okay? I, I am honest. I am transparent. I probably will. If you've raised your hand, if you said yes, I will probably DM you to say, hey, how you doing? If you've just joined this group, I'm going to DM you to say welcome. I try to engage with you. If you're not right, if I, you don't like it, I'll stop. You don't respond? I won't respond back. I will not push you. I will not go into your, your I'm not going to cold DM you. I'm not going to reach out to you and say, you need me because I'm the most important thing in the world. You, you get to decide what is important for you for your grief journey. If you feel that you have a connection with me, that we can work together, I'd love to do that. But that's not my choice. And for me to go into your own personal space when you don't want me there, especially when you're so vulnerable, violation. That's a violation. That's a clear way. If anybody does that to you, they say, I'm going to help you through your grief. I'm going to help you figure out who you are next, but you have to do it on my terms. When I'm ready for you, you have to listen to me, 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 because I'm the coach. That's, that's not what it is. This is about you. So just that's all I want to talk about. It just really riled me up and I really wanted to, to touch in with you because you know that I would never do that because I want you to know that you are the most important in your grief journey and how you do it is your way. What I am here to do is to help you along it as I've helped others, other widows do this for four years now. I help them find the transformation to be in their widow fog, to be truly happy and confident in their new lives to figure out what their next steps are. And if you're not ready for that, it's cool. Take all the time you need. If I'm not the right person for you, cool. Go somewhere else. It's not about me. But if you do feel that you do connect with me, if I, you feel that what I am is genuine to you and you feel that there is something in me that could potentially work with you, then I'd love to invite you to come to a discovery call with me. Actually, no, not even a discovery call. It's like, let's do a coffee chat. Let's talk. Let's just talk for like 45 minutes, completely free, just about your situation, what you're going through, if I can help. And I promise you, because I've done so many of these calls, I promise you that at the very end of it, you'll at least leave with your, a light in your step, a sparkle in your eye, and a, more of a sense of relief and hope than you've had for a while. Now, I hope this resonates. I hope this hasn't bothered you on your journey or interrupted you. You guys are awesome. Okay, thank you for being here. Thank you for listening. Uh, and I'm here if you ever need me. Okay, talk to you later.